A Glass of Blessings by Barbara Pym is a delicate exploration of the complexities of everyday life, relationships, and the subtleties of human emotions. The novel centers on Wilmot Forsyth, a charming yet slightly discontented woman in her thirties, whose life appears to be one of comfort and privilege. She is married to Rodney, a civil servant, and they live in a pleasant home with Wilmot's mother-in-law, Sybil. Despite her seemingly perfect life, Wilmot feels a sense of emptiness and boredom, leading her to search for meaning and excitement outside the confines of her routine. Wilmot's search for fulfillment is depicted through her involvement with her local church, St. Luke's, where she becomes entangled in the lives of the clergy and parishioners. The novel's title, A Glass of Blessings, is a metaphorical reference to the modest joys and small contentments that can be found in life, even when they are not immediately apparent. Wilmot's interactions with the people around her, Father Thames, the charming yet distant priest, Piers Longridge, a mysterious and unattainable man, and her friend Rowena, reveal her longing for something more meaningful and exciting. The novel's strength lies in Pym's keen observation of social dynamics and her ability to capture the nuances of human behavior. Wilmot is a complex character, simultaneously self-aware and oblivious to her own flaws. Her vanity and sense of entitlement are gently mocked, yet Pym also evokes sympathy for her, as she is clearly struggling with her own sense of purpose. Wilmot's interactions with others often reveal more about her own character than she realizes, as she projects her desires and insecurities onto those around her. Pym's writing is characterized by its wit and subtle irony, and A Glass of Blessings is no exception. The novel is filled with moments of quiet humor, often at the expense of the character's pretensions and vanities. Pym's portrayal of the clergy, in particular, is both affectionate and gently satirical, highlighting the gap between their spiritual aspirations and their all-too-human flaws. The church setting serves as a microcosm of the wider society, where appearances often mask deeper insecurities and yearnings. As the novel progresses, Wilmot's perception of her life and the people around her begins to shift. She comes to realize that the excitement and romance she seeks may not be as fulfilling as she imagined. Her relationships with Piers and Rodney are central to this realization. Piers, who initially appears to be the object of her romantic fantasies, turns out to be less idealized than she imagined, while Rodney, whom she has taken for granted, emerges as a more complex and dependable figure. This shift in Wilmot's perspective is subtly handled by Pym, who allows her character to grow and change in a realistic and believable manner. The novel ultimately suggests that contentment and fulfillment are found in not in grand passions or dramatic changes, but in the small, everyday blessings that life offers. Wilmot's journey is one of self-discovery, as she learns to appreciate the value of the life she has, rather than constantly yearning for something more. The novel's ending, while not overtly triumphant, is quietly optimistic, as Wilmot comes to a deeper understanding of herself and her place in the world. In A Glass of Blessings, Barbara Pym presents a nuanced and insightful portrait of a woman navigating the complexities of midlife. The novel is a testament to Pym's skill as a writer, capturing the intricacies of human relationships with humor, compassion, and a keen eye for detail. Through Wilmot's journey, Pym reminds us that the true blessings in life are often the ones we overlook, and that happiness can be found in the most unexpected places.